It's midweek promise time. I just wanted to talk to you about things that are going on in the church and things that are happening in our world uh, and remembering God's promise of today. Well, inside the church here on Sundays now, we have about 25, 30 people plus the choir and um, um, we're social distancing. Every other pew is used. We're still preaching in the parking lot. When, when I'm preaching outside, it shows up on the screens inside so people inside can still see. Outside, um, uh, people in cars. So there was a big group here last Sunday. Um, had a great time in the Lord. You're welcome to come. Inside, we still encourage you to use masks. No one's going to enforce it. We still encourage social distancing. Um, the, again, they say everything's on the rise, but no one in the church. Uh, so everything's working here. God's blessing us. Health and healing. People are faithful to come and pay, faithful to give. And uh, so the church is doing well. Well, let's look at God's promise for today. Here it is. It's John 6, 35. I am the bread of life, and he that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Well, this is actually a, a reflection on the Old Testament manna that came down every day. Uh, I'm the bread of life, coming right out of heaven, Jesus for you, Jesus today. I am the bread of life. I am the bread that gives you life. Life on life more abundantly is what he promised. And when he says this to us, he's going to sustain our life. He's going to give us strength for the day. And that's what it means. He who cometh in, in a, and that's old English. So this would be the King James Version in that. It means that he is on the process of coming, uh, staying after it comes, a continuous process of coming to Jesus. Uh, when we come to him that way, have a relationship with him, he is the bread of life, everything you need for today. You'll never hunger. You'll never thirst for more because Jesus is the answer to all life's problems. One more time. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. John six thirty five. Let's have a little prayer. Father, today we ask your blessing on everyone who's watching this. Everyone in our church, may they find health and healing, the prosperity that your salvation brings. May every one of us feel that uplift and that tug of your spirit today as we're thinking and listening to your word. Father, bless us as a church and as individuals, build us strong. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, we're praying for the world around us, too. We're wanting God to, to do something grand in our nation. We're looking forward to what God has planned next. You know, when it's the darkest, that's when the light shows the best. Here's the, the poem of the day. Fountain of grace, rich, full, and free. What need I that is not in thee? Full pardon, strength to meet the day and peace which none can take away. Peace which none can take away. Well, have a great day, great week. Blessings. Have a good day all day long. Thanks for joining us today for Midweek Promise with Pastor Dowling. And remember to be with us again next week for another installment. God bless you and have a wonderful day.